This is the Macro Teaching Video Part 1. This video introduces how to use macro and how to edit it, including the feature of macro, practical example, and the final one is preset work introduction. In general, the machining program only can input the command code, such as G, M, S, T, F, etc. Macro is able to edit like programming languages such as numeric operations and logic judgment, and provide complete functions to solve complex problems. Macro is often packaged as sub-program to simplify editing of main programs. In addition, macro also can be used as main programs. Through practical example operations, can learn macro faster. In this example, to create an expanded G-code name for GO300, the user inputs the rectangle length, width, center point coordinates and feed speed, and the controller can machine the rectangle path according to the setting. According to these requirements, we can arrange X, Y, I, J, and F, 5 arguments. After completing the expanded G-code edit, these 5 alphabets can be used in the main program to define each physical quantity of the rectangle, so as to simplify the main program. In the development of the expanded G-code, protection and restrictions can be added appropriately to avoid the problem of the wrong operation. This example requires the following conditions. First, if either length or width is not inputted, the program must machine a square path. Second, if the length and width are not inputted, need to pop out the alarm. Third, if the X or Y coordinates of the center is not inputted, need to pop out the alarm. Fourth, if the feed speed is not inputted, the 1000 mm per minute shall be used. The file name of the expanded G-code must conform to the name format, so that the controller can correctly identify it. According to the previous example, the file name will be GO300. Note that there are four digits after G. The first step in the preset work is setting up a USB device. In the root directory of the disk where the simulator is located, create a folder file name USB disk. For example, if the simulator is located on the desktop, which belongs to C drive, the USB disk folder will be created in the root directory of C drive. This step simulates the action of using a USB flash drive on the controller. After setting up success, the cross on the USB disk icon will disappear. The second step in the preset work is creating an expanded G-code. On the main screen of the simulator, press F2 to program, and F8 to file manager, and to F1 new file. After inputting a file name, press OK button. Can see this file on the window of the file manager. The final step in the preset work is declaring macro. The first line has to input percent at macro, declaring macro format. All content should be capitalized with a semicolon at the end of each line. 